just walking away from Howard University here, uh, right after Kamala Harris gave her concession speech. I got a few thoughts about it. Um, it was actually a really good speech. I think it was probably the first good speech that she's uh, maybe ever given in her entire political career. But nonetheless, very good. It seemed like it was uh, almost uh, like heartfelt, like she was speaking as a human. And uh, I don't know. I mean, the the sentiments in it were um, that the, that her followers should keep fighting, but that the way that they should fight was to uh, to love their neighbors. I got nothing wrong with that message, right? And this actually brings up an interesting issue, which is uh, it it kind of seems to me like the defining factor for whether someone gets elected nowadays is whether they can show that they're human uh, which under this analysis would mean that the moment when Trump began to win was when he started to go on various podcasts including Joe Rogan show um, which would have been uh, the moment when people saw him talking not with just lines that were given to him by the party or that he created ahead of time but actually just off the top of his head showing his uh, his character and uh that speaks to uh, potentially why he would have failed in the last election was that he was pretty much just just uh, reciting the same lines over and over again every time you saw him. Um, but this also means that the next election is going to be very interesting because we're going to probably have candidates going really hardcore trying to show that they're human, show that they can uh, speak candidly on difficult subjects and uh, I mean that that puts the the next election uh, squarely into the hands of uh, youtubers and bloggers and and uh, people who uh, are in the alternate media space it's quite a bit of a change from from uh, you know historical precedent I think it's kind of the same the same kind of moment as when uh, there was the first interview, uh, live interview on television uh, for presidential candidates, and uh, you know people thought it went differently for people who were listening on the radio versus who watched it on the television. I think it's kind of the same issue here that now that we have podcasts and YouTube videos and uh, content creators of that sort. Uh, the political realm is uh, almost dominated by people who can show off the aspects of their character that, that best are represented by that medium.